Welcome back everybody to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to hook up a wiring harness to a 125cc kickstart motor. Um, this is not for an electric start motor or anything like that. This is only for kickstart. So yeah, um, just make sure that you guys are watching the right video. I probably will make a video later on on how to put a new wiring harness on a electric start motor too as well. But in this case, this is just for a kickstart motor. So as you guys can see, we got a brand new wiring harness. In this case, this is a motor for my next project. As you guys can see, I just bought a new carburetor for it. I haven't ever started it, but we need sparks. So what I went ahead and did is um, on a lot of 125s, you're gonna have five main wires. You're gonna have a red one with a black stripe. You're gonna have a blue one with a white stripe and a green one with a white stripe. And then actually back here, there's actually two more wires. There's a yellow one and a white one. Those ones are just for lights and stuff. You don't need to do anything with those. But like, as I said, um, you only need three wires to really make it have spark and to make it work. So with our wiring harness, you're going to have your coil. And I do want to mention something. If your coil has two wires, a black one and a green one, you do not have to ground it anywhere. As you guys can see, there's this bracket. You don't have to ground that um, to get spark because you do have a green wire already. Um, so yeah, you're going to have your coil. You're going to have a CDI. And this is what I like about Kickstarter motors. There's just a really small wiring harness. You have your... CDI connection and this connection it can only go one way in so you can't really mess this up um right here this one is for our key switch which uh you don't really need a key switch to start it that's only to kill it and this one is for our push button um kill it kill switch so yeah we have a key switch and a kill switch but you can use either one and then um from there you have a two k two connectors right here which just connect into the two connectors they have on the coil and you just have three three main wires so you have three wires coil kill wires and cdi so with the cdi you're gonna grab it and you can just plug that right on in like i said you can't really mess this up because it can only go one way once you got that plugged in you're gonna hook up these two um i don't have a stand to set you guys on right now so we're just gonna hook these up off camera and once we get those we'll continue all right so we got the coil connected to the wire harness like i said there's only two wires for that you have your CDI, which just connects right on up, and I already connected it to the motor. So the red one with the black stripe just goes to the red one with the black stripe on the motor. The green one with the white stripe, green one to the, to the white stripe, and blue one with the white stripe to the blue one to the right stripe on the wiring harness. So everything is really easy. They all match up. Let's go ahead and take out this plug so it's a little bit easier so we don't have any compression. And we should have spark now. Like I said, the kill wires... Those are just so if you want to kill the engine, you don't really need them to get spark. Let me set you guys down really quick. And then we're going to ground it somewhere, the plug, just so you can see a little bit better. Alrighty, so there's the plug. Um, hopefully I can do this on camera. <clears throat> I'm going to try setting you guys down somewhere, and if I can't, I'll just try my best to show spark. Um, yeah. Let's see here. I'm gonna try and hold you guys like this. You guys are gonna watch that plug. Oh, I see some. Hopefully you guys can see that. You guys can see some rapid blue sparking. Yep, I can definitely see that. I can hear it sparking too, so yeah. Yeah, it's good spark. Like I said, you only got three wires going to the engine. CDI plugs right on up, coil. And then, like I said, these are just kill wires, but that's really all you need to get one of these 125 starting. Now, um, when you're ordering this, I got this kit off of Amazon for 16 bucks. It only comes with the wiring harness and stuff. It doesn't come with the stuff that's all in here and the, the stuff that's inside the motor. So when I did order this, um, I plugged it in, no spark. So obviously we had something bad in here. I went ahead and took it apart. Luckily I had some of the, the pieces that go in there. I went ahead and uh, plugged those in. And then, um, so yeah, I plugged those in, plugged everything back on up and we had good spark. So yeah, when I did this, um, I did have bad spark and I didn't have, I had bad parts in here, but the wiring harness was good. So yeah, if you plug this in and you don't have spark, most likely it's going to be the stuff that are in here. So you're going to go ahead and replace that. Um, you can probably replace it for under 25 bucks. Um, so I ordered that piece a long time ago for like 35 bucks, but that was the entire harness. And I just took it off and used that piece, but yeah. Hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one